Ever since the issues of bombings in Kampala, Uganda has been taking and becoming viral in the country, uh, one of the Muslim clerics by the names of Sheikh Abbas was shot dead in that incident, being suspected to be um, one of the ADF leaders trying to mobilize people to join ADF in Democratic Republic of Congo. So after his death, his family members were captured, including his widow wife. As we're talking right now, the wife, the widow, is still in CMY custody. Hello, welcome. Thanks for joining us live on Progen Media TV. And if you haven't subscribed yet, kindly do. And don't forget to turn on the notification button for all these updates. Well, let's take you through some of these details. The family of the late Sheikh Abbas Muhammad Chirev is appealing to security agencies to release or produce in court his two wives and sister-in-law, whose whereabouts still remain unknown ever since their arrest last week. Chirevu, who was imam of Masjid Jamia Gangu and a resident of Gangu B in Busabala Machinde Sebagabo Division, Wakiso District, was shot dead by security two days after the twin bomb blast that took place in Kampala. After his killing, six of Chirevu's family members, including children, and their mothers were taken the next day after a house search that was conducted at his homes in Gangu and in Sanji. However, only three children were brought back on the same evening, according to the family. And Ibrahim Abbas Ayubu Chirevu, a brother to the deceased, says that Chirevu's two wives, Amina Navanda, and Sophia Nakachua plus Mariam Najuko, a sister-in-law, to the family who had visited them two days before the raids are still missing. Police claimed the deceased who was suspected of recruiting people for the Allied Democratic Front uh, forces rebel was killed after he violently tried to resist arrest and the government accuses ADF of orchestrating the latest bombings that have rocked the country in the previous weeks. They have visited different police stations, military barracks, in much India to require or inquire about these people's whereabouts, but until now, they don't know their detention center, as he said. He is appealing to security agencies to release them or produce them in courts of law, other than being held in communicado and Haj Umaru Savaiga, an uncle to the deceased, disputes security claims that their son was part of the rebel groups that bombed Kampala. He questions why a suspect in handcuffs was blatantly murdered. Well, that is it for now, and thanks for watching Progen Media TV. And if you haven't subscribed yet, kindly do, and don't forget to turn on the notification button for all these updates.